What can I help you with? Came to sell my buttons. They belong to Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette. Do you know a lot about Marie Antoinette? <laughs> <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to try and sell my buttons owned by Marie Antoinette. I want to sell them because I don't deal in buttons. I'd like to get $10,000. I think they're a very rare set and very unusual. So where did you get these? I'm a rare book dealer. Where there's sometimes really fine books, you find some really interesting objects. What makes you think they belong to Marie Antoinette? On the box is the Bourbon coat of arms, which is something Marie Antoinette would have had on all of her possessions. Yes, the Bourbons were a long line of kings and queens in France. Bourbons was the family name. And after Marie Antoinette was married to Louis XVI, she became a Bourbon. Louis XVI could not have run the government worse. The utter poverty of the people in France, and they're looking at people living in Versailles, living the life of luxury, eventually led to the French Revolution. And what are we going to do with the king and queen? And they just decided, let's just chop their heads off. <laughs> This woman loved living the high life. But the average French person, who was basically starving at the time, they got sick of her really quick. After the French Revolution, she was eventually arrested and executed. Do you mind if I look at them? Sure, of course. Go ahead. These were called paste diamonds. They're sort of like glass diamond. Paste was a big thing. What it basically is, this is glass with lead melted in it. Mm -hmm. This is definitely something fancy enough to be worn by a queen. Yeah, from what uh, I understood, it's very rare, actually, that you would have a set of buttons that survive complete. A complete style. set is rare. There's a good market for stuff belonging to royals. And Marie Antoinette is one of those historical figures people never stop talking about. But there's a lot of things we have to take into consideration here. So what do you want to do with them? I want to sell them. How much are you looking to get out of them? 10 grand. <laughs> If they belong to Marie Antoinette, we probably have a deal. But what happened was is French Revolution, Napoleon came to power, and later he was defeated, and uh, the English put the monarchy back in place in France. When the Bourbons reascended the throne, they modified their crest. And this necklace right here was added. 100% guarantee you this is post-Napoleon. OK. Which means it can't be Marie Antoinette's, because her head was gone by then. <laughs> That being said, though, we still have a bourbon coat of arms on the front of this thing. I mean, we're talking royalty. I'll give you two grand for him. We do uh, 4,500. I'll go three grand. There's a royal connection, but we don't know how far down the line. I really don't want to go less than 3,500. I think it's, it's fair. It's not like this walks in the door every day. This stuff always sells. I'd say go ahead and do it for 35. All right, 3,500. You got it. Write him up, Corey. All right, come with me. My man, I'll write you up. His son was strangely interested in the buttons. I'm glad he prodded him along to uh, accept the 3,500 because it really was a good deal for him.